Yeah, just walking across this golf course, I don't think anyone's gonna mind. As long as I don't step on the greens, right? It's day 66 or 67 of walking around Ireland. I'm leaving Bally Castle back here, very nice little town, and I'm headed further along the Antrim coastline. This is just so spectacular. I know people keep telling me that the Antrim coastline is beautiful, but you know, to be fair, there's so many beautiful places in Ireland, and there's so many places that people have been telling me to go, and I can only go to so many. And uh, this was initially off route, you know, I wasn't thinking about coming here, but I'm so glad I did. Like everywhere I've ended up on this trip, I'm so happy to, to have come here to see this. That's Rattling Island out there. And beyond that, that's Scotland. It's the closest I've ever been to Scotland. And I got here on foot. <laughs> this here is Rattling Island. I heard an interesting fact or point about the island there. It has one pub. And I think it was last year, it was recently anyway, that pub sold for half a million euro. <laughs> Unbelievable. I don't know what the population is over there. It can't be very big. But a pub selling for half a million euro on a tiny island like that, it's insane. I put up a post this morning saying that walking has changed the way I look at Ireland. And I'm not trying to, to be a philosopher with this, but what I simply mean is that any time I came back to Ireland over the last 10 years for a holiday or a break, or to see if I could settle, I went back into the old lifestyle that I was living and it makes sense to me now that I didn't enjoy it the way I do now because I wasn't getting outdoors I wasn't interested in walking or camping or taking these kinds of adventures on my own doorstep so it's been very important coming back this time because I've walked the whole way around my country almost and I've realized that you know what I love Ireland I love being here the problem in the first place was never where I was. The grass was never green or anywhere else. It was just the fact that I wasn't living the life that I should have been living. The life that would make me happy or content and allow me to experience places in the way I know and love to do. That's all it was. It's a, a wonderful feeling to now know that, not to just suspect it or want to believe it, but to know that that was true. Today is quite gourmet. Have salami, avocado, that's like spinach leaves, cheese, hummus.
Loch Arima, also known as the Vanishing Lake. And the reason for that is because there's a leaky chalk bed beneath the surface of the water here and there's a plug, bo plug hole and sometimes uh, that plug hole becomes jammed with peat and bog which means that when there's heavy rain this area fills up with water and the depression turns it into a lake. And the, the reason it's called Vanishing Lake obviously then is because half of the time when you drive past here there's no water at all. And they actually in fact think that engineers may have built the road above the lake here because they were tricked, they were fooled by the trickery of this area and didn't realise that this is not a permanent lake. really beautiful now walking down into the valleys you see the small towns down here uh, just clusters of houses on the other side there I think that I'm gonna go around or in, maybe in between these mountains here but just your quintessential valley in Ireland really beautiful really green and uh, very lush So I should be able to camp in here somewhere tonight. I have to go back out and find water somewhere. But I'm scouting this out before I continue so that I know whether or not it's worth coming back to worth coming back to. And it's very steep but I think there should be at least a spot where it's flattened out. I can pitch the tent. It's stung all over. This is also here, yeah, it's quite dense in here. It's the sort of place if it was getting dark you'd come in here come in here you'd be afraid of getting lost. I I can hear water. Oh maybe I can get water here. Yeah. Hey presto. So I can take water here, filter it and then maybe stay here for the night. It's quite early in the day, this is the only thing. A beautiful forest. I stumbled across this by chance. It's beautiful. There's nobody in here except me. That's past the Carbonara, 
bits of treats all thrown in. I have pita bread, a slice of cheddar cheese inside that, and then some hummus.